She said she wasn't nervous and has just become Britain's most famous grandmother. I'm, I'm happy it's happened and now I've done it and uh, hopefully it'll help other people come along and uh, do as I did. The 90-year-old received the very first Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine outside of a trial in the city of Coventry. The rollout will gather pace across Scotland, Wales and Keenan's native Northern Ireland from today. It's a, a big moment in that, in, in scientific endeavour and you know, this can start to, uh, to heal this, this disease right across the world and protect people uh, everywhere. It's a logistical challenge for Britain's health service. The NHS is embarking on its largest and most ambitious inoculation programme ever. And despite millions more vaccines expected to arrive in the UK before the end of the month, the government warns it's far too early to relax social distancing rules. We haven't defeated this virus yet, and it's important for people to understand that uh, the virus is, alas, still rising in, in some parts of the, of the country. It's, it's rising, for instance, in London. We can't afford to relax now. The Prime Minister is well aware that Britain is the worst hit European country with over 61,000 COVID-19 deaths. His government's handling of the pandemic has often been criticised by opposition politicians. And not everyone is keen to try the vaccine. I think it's been rushed through. I don't think we know enough about it. Uh, and I also I don't see the reason for it. If, if the majority of people are surviving it, I don't see really why... We, we need to have it. Top scientists have worked round the clock all over the world and you know we have to trust them. People will take it as a like a false sense of security so it's really important that people still follow the, the government guidelines otherwise I think it's a really good step. The headlines on the UK's first day of mass vaccinating are positive on what could be a momentous change in the fight against COVID-19. There are high hopes about this vaccine and other vaccines which are also being assessed and that life next year will be radically better than this year.